Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Doing machine work on a 4B here today. I believe that you've missed out on the boring. Uh, I think the battery died while I was shooting that part. But I've bored out all these cylinders. So this engine has been overheated and it was scored pretty bad. So I got all the scoring out of it. Now I'm just going to take my uh, face mill here and run up over this head and get the warp out of this block. I know it's got at least 5,000. It's going to have to come off maybe a little more than that even to get it clean up. Just have to see how it goes. But uh, once I get that done, it should be time to throw this thing in the power washer, get it cleaned up, hone it up, and to be ready to go. So let's get to it. You may not want to have your head mill to blow a head gasket on one of these unless you're planning on pulling the block too. See the, the mill touch here. Obviously, you're all down this side. Fades out over here. Touch right there on the outside. So the bosses clean them up. But all this is low over here, particularly low in the middle of the deck, way low there, but the head gasket may have been leaking on this thing probably, a little blowing in between the two, but 5,000 off this really didn't do much for cleaning it up, but uh, we'll take another five and see what that looks like, but that's way typical of these B blocks almost always four below in the middle stay high on the ends. So if you make your head flat, which is also typically warped to match the block, then you're trying to put a curved block against a flat head, and that's worse than putting a curved block to a curved head. So a lot of times you're better off to just not do anything to it, just put a head gasket on and put it back on. See, I wonder why the compression could be down on this engine. Hmm. They all look like that. Maybe they're supposed to be that way. Now 
that's the bass one. It's just got a little scuff. Most of these, though, they look like a Jameis Alice Chalmers kind of engine. But one time, and on this one, it's just excessive overheating. So. Well, there's the block all finished. So, got the dowel pins back on the top. I had to pull them out, of course, to mill the deck. So, now that it's milled and bored and honed, this thing ought to be ready for chance number two at life. Hopefully they won't overheat it again and kill it for good. Cause next time it'd have to be sleeved, at which point it's probably cheaper just get another block. If you gotta do all four of them. I cleaned it up and sprayed it down with some WD-40. So keep it from rusting. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see what you got to see on this project of doing up this block. Oh, the uh, footage probably wasn't the greatest, but uh, pretty pressed on time on this. Getting way behind, got a bunch of projects going here at one time and not enough time to get them all done in. So uh, shooting video is kind of getting to be secretary, uh, secondary. But you did get to see something, so thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.